All right, so one key information we collect whenever you're using the Kobo Collect is um, your um, GPS location. So the GPS location is very important. So when using this form, the first thing to do when using the Kobo Collect for data collection is to turn on your location. So you turn on this location. And then once this location is, this is your location. So this is my location. So I'll just turn on and then turn it on. So this is how you turn it on. So your location has to be on. So um, yeah, my location is turned on just like this. So now I'll go to the Kobo Collect now. And then start a new form. So once you start a new form, I've started one initially so it may eventually load it up. So I'll just come here. Yeah, I've started this already. So it's starting a new form. So I want to go to a place where I'm required to enter my my to ensure that I take my geographical location. Alright, so this is that point here. So all you have to do is to click on start your point and then it will ask you for some level of access this option here depends on the kind of phone you are using so yours it might not show it might show something else but well, all you all you need to do is to accept it because all it's trying to do is just to get your geographical location that's your gps location so with that um when i say uh, i would say use this while using this app so then this is how it's fetches my location so you give it some time it's going to fetch your location just give it some time it's going to fetch your location um, when the same polite place is trying to you know get in location so it's going to do that i can decide to save and say and stop the process so that it doesn't take so much time but i'll just all right, so as you can see, my location has been taken. So it, take, it took my location, latitude this, longitude this, altitude this, accuracy. This is the accuracy level. So you just leave this. Once this, this information has been collected, you can then continue to the next stage. So um, condition and functionality of health facility. So is it functional or non-functional? So you move to the next step, name of OIC, you enter the name. So enter the name of the OIC and all of that. So you just continue filling the form from here and that's how you basically go about it. So I'll 